Hey everyone, in this video, let's compare Outlook with Spark Mail. In order to do so, here we are in Outlook. And if you're unfamiliar with Outlook, it is pretty much the email that is fairly standard in most business locations. Um, with Outlook, you can certainly create your own email address through Microsoft. However, you can also add your account. So if you have a Google account or you have a mail in different locations, then you can always add your account, which means quite likely you can add your Spark mail as well. With Outlook, we have a variety of standard options. We've got our calendar, we've got our contacts. Here we have access to Word. However, we're going to have to log in in order to use that. So if you have access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you have all of those options here in Outlook. We've got more apps, OneNote here. So if we want to uh, use OneNote, then we have access to that as well. Let's take a look here at Spark and see what we have with Spark. Let's just take a look here. Where did we go? There it is. So Spark Mail. So fast cross-platform email designed to filter out the noise so you can focus on what's important. You can come here to sparkmailapp.com in order to download Spark. And uh, let's just take a look at some of the features. Okay, prioritize take a look here organize we've got ai spark so we have an ai powered email writing assistant that helps you craft perfect emails faster so there's integrated ai there that's going to help you write emails save some time for you refine your workflow filter out the noise build better habits discover true productivity we also have the buy option so let's just take a look at that so Spark for individuals is free to get started. Whenever, whatever your needs, we've got you covered it with premium features. So monthly, that's going to be $8 a month. Annual works out to $4.99 a month. Let's see full feature comparison. So we have our free access, and this is just going to be your standard email that you have access to. And as far as that goes, we have our unified inbox, we can sync between devices, smart notifications, smart inbox. We have a lot of the standard features that you would have with any email, but with the premium and with the premium teams, we have access to just a few more options. And if that's something that you're interested in, if you're interested in paying that $4.99 a month, then that is an option there. Let's take a look at the resources here. We've got our uh, how to's help center about us. Let's take a look at the features, integrations, Spark AI, calendar and meeting notes, home screen, smart inbox, gatekeeper, snow, snooze emails, send later, reminder to follow up email signatures, newsletters, and notifications. So that uh, let's just take a look here at Spark AI. And uh, let's see here. So we've got a nice little video here that we can watch. We'll just take a moment here. So yeah, it just seems as though as far as the AI goes, this is going to help you with writing an email. So if you need to write an email that maybe is kind of sensitive and you're hoping that AI can help you do that in a way that uh, uh, make sure that it's as professional as possible, then you have it uh, take advantage of that. Nice, simple UI here. And you can see there just very uh, elegant and to the point, not a lot of clutter. And so that's quite nice there. One thing that we can see with other email options is that there seems to be an emphasis on privacy and security. Now, I would expect that because Spark is using AI, then there is somewhat of an expectation that the information is that you're uh, that you're using here may or may not be used to send your information to uh, uh, different companies in order to train the AI um, or to uh, 
train the AI or to, uh, um, to have ads basically. Um, if you know, a lot of these, um, uh, platforms will sell your information or send your information to other platforms in order to, um, help with ads and things like that. So if that's something that's important to you, if privacy and security is something that is important to you, it doesn't look so much as though that is a huge emphasis when it comes to Spark. Other platforms like Proton Mail might be a little bit better for you. But when it comes to the different email options that you have there, if you by some chance are trying to avoid the big uh, email providers like Microsoft, like Google, things of that sort, then you might want to give Spark a try. It, it seems like it has a really nice, straightforward email uh, interface there that you can take advantage of and um, really kind of reminds me of like the Mac OS. Uh, not a lot of clutter, very straightforward. And uh, that AI seems to be a big selling point. So those are the primary differences between Outlook and Spark. If you're interested in using the Spark Mail app, you can go to sparkmailapp.com and you can download Spark and get that on both your desktop and your mobile devices and then start using it from there. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.